Hello friends and welcome to another session on geometry and uh, we have been discussing triangles. Today we are going to take up another theorem which is uh, more commonly known as the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so you have been uh, studying about Pythagoras theorem for a long long time. So it's not new to you. So uh, this is called Pythagoras theorem. Now, why it is called Pythagoras' theorem? Uh, the story goes that Pythagoras in around 6th century BC uh, proved this theorem. Okay, it's not that this theorem has not been there, uh, be, uh, you know, before Pythagoras' era. It was there. In fact, if you look at Indian sources, Indian mathematical sources as well, so uh, there is this scholar called Bodhayana, right? Bodhanaya. And uh, he dates around uh, 8th century BC, right? So before Christ, 8th century BC. Vadhana actually also gave uh, the proof of this theorem uh, in the series of books called Sulba Sutras, right? So the book he wrote or these people wrote called Sulba Sutras, right? So these are post-Vedic literature, okay? So in, in these books, uh, the proof for these kind this theorem has been discussed okay so let's not get into the history part of it more let us try to find out the uh, the proof or let's say try let's understand this theorem and then try to prove ourselves now what does this theorem say it says in a right angle triangle the square of the longest side which is also known as hypotenuse you know this hypotenuse so the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides so in this case, uh, we can start with the formal proof, uh, starting with let's say what's given. So it's given that in triangle ABC, ABC, we have angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Okay, angle ABC is 90 degrees other, and uh, we have to prove. What do we need to prove? We need to prove that the square on the longest side, which is AC. So AC square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that is a b square plus b c square okay and uh, there are lots of proofs for this theorem you know more than 20 25 proofs uh, are existing so uh, we are going to use the concepts of similar triangle to prove this theorem here okay so uh, you would have studied similar uh, triangles by now so let us now try to prove it so for that we need a construction so the construction is i have to drop a perpendicular bd onto the hypotenuse that is ac okay now let us try to see or observe some similar triangles so how to go about the proof now this particular diagram is pretty common in similar triangles and you can see triangle abc is definitely similar to triangle the upper one so this one i can draw so this one is similar to the main triangle and this will be a b b isn't it so these are two similar triangles why why do i say that because angle a is common to both triangles look carefully angle a is common and there is a 90 degree as well so angle v here is 90 and angle d here is 90 isn't it so hence which criteria we are using guys so the criteria is a a double a that is angle angle similarity criteria similarity similarity criteria isn't it by this criterion we can very well say that the two triangles are similar now the moment these two triangles are similar what do we conclude we can conclude that the uh, let's say uh, side a b the sides will be proportional right so a b upon a d is going to be equal to a c upon a b Okay, so these are the two ratios for the two triangles. How do I get that? So let's say AB, AD. So I wrote it back here. And then AC and AB are corresponding sides. So can I not uh, rearrange them and write as AB square? AB square is equal to AC into AD. Right? So there is this first relation. And let us name it as 1. First relation is 1, okay. Now, let us uh, take uh, triangle ABC again. 
but this time we will choose the other triangle that means this one so let us choose this triangle and you can see this is similar to triangle um, ABC will be similar to uh, BDC B D C this is these are these are these two triangles are similar so angle C is equal to angle C why because angle C is common in both and angle B again 90 degree and in this case angle D 90 degree so these are two these are the two angles which are equal so guys if that is so then again uh, we can say uh, in this case BC upon DC is equal to AC upon BD right or BC rather yeah so BC upon DC is equal to um, AC upon BC right and then rearranging again you can very easily say what is this this is nothing but BC square is equal to AC into DC right so this is equation number two equation number now what we are going to do is we are going to simply add these two equation one and two so you can write from from one and two right from one and two what do we need to do just add so this is a b square plus b c square on the left hand side and on the right hand side you will get a c into a d a d plus a c into dc okay so now we can take ac common so let's take a c common and you will get here ad ad plus dc now what is ad plus dc look at the diagram if you look at the diagram ad plus dc is ac itself so hence this can be written as ac ac into ac yep which is nothing but ac square a c square so you can see a b square plus b c square is coming out to be a c square and this is what we wanted to prove see this was what we wanted to prove and hence proved so we can say hence proved okay so i hope you understood uh, how to prove pythagoras theorem or you can also call it bodhayana's theorem so hence we proved this theorem there are multiple other ways you can use congruences you can use area multiple ways of proving the same theorem so hence we have proved it using the concepts of similarity right next video we are going to see the converse of this proof that is if this relation holds that is the sum of one uh, the, uh, the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides then the triangle is bound to be a right angle triangle okay so let us prove this in the next session